I mean, <laughs> I guess you would say sawed off, but who says that to their mom? Hey guys, welcome back to the Girl Gone London channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I'm a dual UK and American citizen. And in this video, I'm taking some tests to determine if I am really British. Okay, so this video should directly follow my uh, retaking the British citizenship test one. I'm gonna try and redeem myself with some more fun Are You British quizzes. I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna go either, but we're gonna go ahead and see. Like I said, I've got the British passport, but am I truly British? Okay, so I've started recording my screen and I'm going to start with one that starts with yes or no questions. Are you British? I think it's only fair that I answer with my actual answers as opposed to I probably know what they're going for to see if someone is British, but we'll see what my answers actually turn out to be. So the first one is, do you prefer a cup of tea to a cup of coffee in the morning? I do not drink tea or coffee, but I would much rather have a cup of tea than a cup of coffee. So I'm gonna go, yes. Would you have this meal on any other day but Sunday? This is a traditional British roast, so no, I would only have it on a Sunday. Next question. You see a line of people, <laughs> would you queue up without knowing what for? In the UK, absolutely I would. And I know that's what they're going for when they are determining if you're British or not, because that queuing is a very British, um, I've gotten in trouble before for saying, people in the UK love queuing. Of course, nobody loves queuing, but Americans we don't queue. We just push people aside. So compared to that, British people do love queuing. Do you have any trouble saying, oh, okay. This is Worcestershire. Ah, but am I, I don't know if that's correct. I know it's not Worcestershire. I think it's Worcestershire, but that, uh, okay, I'm gonna have to go. I have no idea how to say it because clearly I can't determine if I'm saying it correctly or not. Do you tend to talk about the weather? Can you imagine if the UK looked like that picture? Is that in the UK? I mean, it doesn't look like it. it looks like somewhere in Spain or Portugal. Um, do I tend to talk about the weather? In the UK, yes, I do. Next question. Does this look appetizing to you? A scotch egg? Yes, it does. I want one right now. A stranger accidentally knocks into you as he walks by. Would you apologize? 100% I would. Yes, I would, just to be polite. Do you think people should only drink beer at night? Um, no, I don't. And that is the British answer. Anytime is beer time. It's very shocking for Americans when they first moved to the UK that you could go on a lunch with your coworkers and be drinking during the workday. Would you tip the bar staff who brought you your drinks in the UK? I would not. Do you love eating at Nando's? Who doesn't? Yes, I do. If your meal isn't up to standard, would you call on the waiter to complain? No, I would not. And that's gonna be the British answer. Do you enjoy watching this sport? Cricket. You know what, cricket's usually played on like a sunny day. And it, it's, yes, sure, I've, I've watched cricket matches and enjoyed it. More the socializing on the sidelines as you're like eating sandwiches, but yes. Is Bob's your uncle? Just a phrase to remind you of your uncle Bob? No, it means something else. Are these puddings? Yes, Yorkshire puddings. What about this one? Is this a pudding? Well, yeah, it is a type of pudding, right? Though now I'm not sure what that even is, but it looks like a type of pudding. All right, show me my results. Mm, do not. No, emails, just show me my results. These, I, you got your British. Wow, that man is 
definitely British. You're surely from Great Britain, as you are sarcastic. Our adamant this sport is called football and not soccer. Are obsessed with the royal family and love a good cup of tea occasionally. I would say the obsessed with the royal family thing isn't actually that common of people from Great, Bit Great Britain. I would say obsessed with the royal family is more of an American thing. Um, and likes the royal family might be more uh, appropriate to say about people in the UK. But I feel like more Americans are obsessed with the royal family than in the UK. Because British people in general, you don't get obsessed about much. It's a little bit over the top. Um, okay, next quiz. So this is a British phrase quiz. God, these ads. Okay. When someone becomes very upset, you would say he unleashed his monkeys, lost his cool, flamed his drapes, or did his nut. Uh, I would... The only one I definitely know is lost his cool. I don't know. Maybe they'll tell me the answers at the end. You are off to play soccer, which you wouldn't be if you were British because you would say football. You say to your mum, heading out for football, mother, going to play some footy, heading out to soccer or off to the greens. I think you'd say going to play some footy. If something is awesome, you exclaim, ace, holy cow, pucker, Finley. I've never heard of that before. Mm, I don't think you say holy cow. Ace, maybe? You think you're coming down with a cold. You tell your boss, I am sick. No. The dribbles are attacking. Never say that in a work email. I'm fogging out or I'm feeling really grotty. You're feeling really grotty. At the end of a great date, you tell her or him, I'll call you, I'll ring you, I'll give you a whaley, or I'll give you a tinkle. You would say, Hopefully, I'll ring you. I, or I'll call you, but I think that's they're going for the American I'll call you versus the British I'll ring you. I would say don't say I'll give you a tinkle at the end of a first date. If you think someone is the best, you say, he's the mutt's nuts, she's swell, she's the dog's danglies, or he's diddly-o. Who says these things? Am I missing a whole section of British phrases that I've never heard before. Um, cause aren't they going for like the dog's bollocks here? But why is that not an answer? Let's go this one. If someone can't mind their own business, you would say he's all up in their wax. He's such a curtain twitcher. He's such a nose ointment or she's such a Kravitz. You would say he's such a curtain twitcher. If you're going to go out and party, you'd say, we're going out on the tiles. We're having a right old knees up. We're out on the lash or we're going to paint the town red. Mm. Is it on the lash or is on the lash when you want something more than partying, if you know what I mean? But that's kind of the only one I've heard. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna guess. We're gonna guess that one. When you're kissing your boyfriend slash girlfriend and mom comes into your room and asks what you're doing, you'd say, sawed off, sweet Fanny Adams, nothing, minding the chaplain's baby. I mean, <laughs> I guess you would say sawed off, but who says that to their mom? I, I mean, I would click nothing, but I feel like that's not a very British answer. So we're going to go sawed off. I feel like the people who are saying these things and answering these questions are very aggressive. You've had a couple pints and you have to go to the bathroom. You tell your mates, I know this one. I've got to see a man about a horse. I'm going to spend a penny. I'm off to shoot the cake or I'm going for a slash. Spend a penny. Knew that one. You're trying to get into an exclusive club, but the bouncer kicks you out because of your fake ID. You later tell your friends, I don't even know if I want to read these on the internet. What am I reading? 
I'm gonna say it all went pear-shaped because that means it all went wrong. He ended my bond moment. No, let's say pear-shaped. Uh-oh, you find out your boss saw you at a restaurant when you told her you were staying home because you were sick. You were sick. Your friends would say, yeah, they, okay, of these options, Americans would say that sucks, but I think British people would say that's pants. Your sister has an IQ of 172 and prefers to stay in the basement programming new apps and playing Call to Duty. It's Call of Duty, isn't it? Instead of hanging out with real life people. This quiz is so judgmental. You would tell your friends. She's a total geek. That's what Americans would say. She's a complete nerd. Again, I feel like Americans would say that. She's a creaker. I've never heard that. So I think I learned previously that an anorak was, they might say that about like somebody who prefers to study and program and stuff. So we're going to go with that one. Your best friend is about to throw up. You later tell your friends he was going to blow chunks. Yeah, I think that's what they would say. Is it? Or is that the American phrase? He was going to erupt bile. <laughs> he was on the chunder bus or he was going to puke. I think the first one, when will this end? It's your wedding day and it starts raining. You would say it's Sod's law. Yes, it's Murphy's law. No, it's the queen's tax. I wish people would start using that more or it's ironic. Don't you think it's like rain on your wedding day? Okay, you would say it's Sod's law. You are ready to propose to your beloved but your ex shows up. This is like watching a soap opera. Your ex shows up and starts crying and screaming at you. You would think to yourself, well, that's a splinter in the banister. That's a good one, but no. I hope she didn't bring a gun. That's the American version. Well, that's throwing a spanner in the works. That's correct. Or I need to call the police. No, spanner in the works. My British level is 93. Out of 100, your speech is almost entirely genuine British. You watch Coronation Street, eat bangers and mash, and think the American obsession with dentistry is absurd. Now that is more correct about what I feel like people in the UK do. So that one, I feel like we got an A. An A in the US is typically 92 or 90 to 100. 93, I would say passed with flying colors. And we've got one more. So <laughs> let's see, I think we're doing okay here. So this is, can you pass this British quiz? And question number one, can you name this man? Oh, okay. No, no, I can't. The American equivalent was a man named Billy Mays. This guy, I feel like Barry Scott is a good like sales name. So we're gonna guess his name is Barry Scott. That is correct. Yes. Okay. Which day is Weatherspoon's Curry Club? Mm. Okay. When Wednesday? I don't know. Midweek? No. Thursday. Mm. Okay. I was going to guess Thursday. Didn't go with my gut. What was always on BBC? I don't, I'm not going to pass this one. What was always on BBC two after the Simpsons was finished on channel four when you got home from school? So BBC Two, after The Simpsons was finished. British people tend to enjoy Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, though I do know via my husband that he does know Keenan and Kel. I've never heard if my parents are aliens, so I'm gonna guess Fresh Prince. But on BBC Two? Yeah, sure, we'll guess that. Yes, correct. Okay. What flavor are these crisps? Cheese and onion. Am I supposed to know this based on the way it looks? I guess so. Yes. Who's taller, ant or deck? I have no idea. I feel like deck looks taller. Deck? Nope. Ant. Oh, by a lot. Okay. Which of these was never one of the zones in the crystal maze? I've only seen the crystal maze like one time, but my husband that is something that British people are obsessed with. Um, okay, never one of the zones. Aztec, industrial, or space? Aztec, industrial, or space? Aztec. 
space zone? I'm gonna, I don't know, I don't know. Shout out the answer, give it to me. Um, space, space zone? Yay, okay. What is the most popular pub name in Britain? Oh, it's either the Red Lion or the White Horse. I think it's the White Horse. No, Red Lion. Mm, okay. What about our most popular beer? Foster's? No. Not doing well. Which of these is not a proper pie? The middle one. What the heck is that? Which comic book could you find the Bash Street kids in? This is a true... This this quiz, I would like to acknowledge this quiz as an actual are you British or not quiz because it actually deals with things that I feel like you'd only know if you grew up in the UK. Um, a lot of the other ones I feel like I can fake my way through because of my knowledge now, but these ones, I haven't read a comic book in the UK. I know Beano was very popular. That's the only one I've heard of. So I'm gonna guess that one. Yes, okay. Which of these is the correct shade for a cup of tea? Ooh, this is about to get controversial. Uh, uh, the correct shade for a cup of tea. Middle. This, this would be a lot of milk. But this kind of looks gray. So that one, no. That one, that looks like sludge. Okay, what, how, oh, gladiators. My husband was just talking about gladiators the other day. He was like, I would turn on the TV and we'd watch Baywatch followed by gladiators the other way around. I've never seen gladiators. What was the catchphrase? Uh, a wooga. That sounds like a good catchphrase. <laughs> yes, okay. This used to be the logo of which British institution? Little Chef, Chicken Cottage, or Wimpy. I think Wimpy Burgers. Correct. Which of these is not the title of a real posh British magazine? <gasps> Me and my poodle better not be the title of a real posh British, British magazine. We're going with number one. Thank God. Okay. What's the traditional food you should eat at Wimbledon? I know this. Strawberries and cream. I love Wimbledon. Who is the objectively better bake-off judge? Uh, who is the objectively better bake-off judge? Well, Paul was just the Simon Cowell of bake-off. Who, do, who does the British public like more? Everybody loves Mary Berry, so I feel like that's going to be the answer. Yes. What should fish and chips be served on a fancy chopping board? Nope, newspaper is correct. And the last question, which Chuckle Brother is Barry? I've heard about the Chuckle Brothers, have no real concept of them besides I've heard the name in passing. So is this Barry or is this Barry? Um, this guy looks more like a Barry. <laughs> yes, <laughs> correct. Zero questions left. 13 out of 18. They consider I passed. I would consider I had some lucky guesses. This was one of the best quizzes I've actually taken on if you're actually British. So comment below, people of the internet, British, non-British, whoever you are, did you get all of the questions on the last quiz correct? Because I think that is our true are you British quiz. How many did you get roughly or what percentage do you think? I'd love to hear how you did on that one because like I said, my husband could answer this 100%. I'm almost positive. Um, I got 13 out of 18 and I feel like this is one of those things where an American would have absolutely no idea unless, unless you've lived in the UK for a significant period of time. This was not as easy as the ones that are like, uh, Brits like to eat fish and chips or pizza. This definitely like delved into actual British culture, which I appreciated. Um, and 13 out of 18, I'm not, I don't think I did terribly. Not great, but I'll let you decide if I can keep my British citizenship or not. Okay, 
So we've reached the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.